Good morning, eighth grade students. Thank you for being here today. It's already March and we need to start thinking about next year. So today I am going to talk to you about your ninth grade course selection. So this presentation will review course selections for students that are going into ninth grade for the 21-22 school year into Allen, Building 21, LCTI, which will only be a half day for ninth graders, and possibly DRF. We have a very few amount of students that are going to DRF. Um, courses students may select will be electives, world languages, if you're doing band and or choir, um, and junior ROTC. The program of studies has been released. I have it shared on my Google Classroom page. If for some reason you are not in my Google Classroom page, you can email me at biancoc at allentownsd.org and let me know. Inside, you'll find information about courses offered at the three different high schools. Um, and the slides that follow will go into more detail about what's contained in the program of studies, which you will see referenced as POS. So to graduate high school, which you will find on page eight, you need four English classes, three and a half social studies, three math, three science, you need a health class, you need gym, which is half credit classes each. So you'll need four years of gym, um, a computer programming class that you'll automatically get put in as a ninth grader. And then you need a total of seven um, elective credits. Two whole credits should be through arts and humanities, um, which some of your band choirs will also cover. So you, you'll see as we go on. And that will equal 23 and a half credits in order to graduate high school. The required ninth grade courses. So this is the courses that you cannot control. Your English, your social studies, your math, and your science. You have to take one of each of them. You are going to be scheduled for gym class. You're going to be scheduled for health class. And you're going to be scheduled for computer programming. Every single ninth grader gets scheduled for that um, in the three high schools. You'll see later how LCTI might be slightly different, but those are the required courses, which is five and a half of your seven credits that you will need. So you'll have one and a half credits that you need to choose. Here's the academic program, roughly for each track. You have your traditional track, your LCTI option, and your advanced. Again, for your four core classes, um, your teachers will be a part of helping me schedule what is your next step going into high school. So the level, how are the levels of courses decide? Like I said, your teachers will be helping me. It will be my recommendation as well. Um, communication and conversations with you guys and your families. Um, where are you with your current eighth grade work? Where are you with your benchmark testing, your STAR, your PSSAs, your CBTs, your all those benchmark testing and assessments that we ask you guys to take seriously? That's what we look at to determine where you should go for your next course. And then if you have um, special learning needs. Traditionally, I'd be meeting with you guys in person. So this really stinks um, that I might not be able to see you before the end of this year. Hopefully we'll be back in April, but if we're not, we still need to move forward because this is due by the end of March. So regardless if we're coming back in April, this needs to get done. So since we cannot meet in person, we need to do everything virtually. I am more than happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one to go through it. You just have to shoot me an email and let me know you wanna meet. We, I will have a course request Google form posted in my Google Classroom um, by next week, because I don't want you to jump into it right away. I want you to review the program of studies and talk with your family and maybe talk with some teachers or myself if you have questions before you go and schedule. But you will be doing a Google form. So what am I going to be asking on this Google form? Um, again. 
you'll be assigned your core subjects, your gym and health, and your computer programming. So I will be asking you about electives. You get a world language option, and then you get music options, the, like I said, the electives, which we'll find out later what those are. And if you wanna do um, junior ROTC, again, we're gonna learn about that coming up. So some of the elective offerings we have is art classes, computer applications, electricity, dance it's only offered at allen so the handful of kids that are going to drf you will not have the option to do dance but there's visual communications over at drf and then theater the world languages that you guys will be choosing is german one spanish one or spanish one for spanish speakers if a teacher decides that you should be in spanish two or higher they will let me know but because we don't offer the traditional Spanish one full year course or German one full year course here at Trexler, you'll start in German one or Spanish one. The music electives will be instrumental activities, choir activities, band, and piano. Again, the course descriptions can be found in our program of studies on page 44 and 45. So you can read more about what that actual, actual course is about. Our Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, which is Junior ROTC, or Junior ROTC, um, offers an introduction to the military for any student that might be interested in pursuing a, mil a military life after high school. There is no obligations. I do know it meets first period. So that is a 720 class. Um, it's, if you want to enroll in the Air Force Junior OTC that occurs at DRF, you have to have written a written request from a parent and you need to talk to the Director of Community and Student Services. So please let me know if this is something you're interested in and instead of doing Navy, do you want to do Air Force. Building 21, you all should have heard the presentation, so you should have an idea of what Building 21 is about. The applications, you need to get them in. It is a lottery, and we are still going to collect your electives, so you still need to do that form, regardless of you going to Building 21 or not. If you get accepted into Building 21, they are going to offer you different electives and that will be changed at that time. <clears throat> but since this is due at the end of March, I need you to do the Google form whether you apply to Building 21 or not. Same with LCTI. Whether you apply to LCTI or not, which we need to get those submitted as well because there's a piece that I have to do and then I have to submit this can be found on my Google Classroom page, um, the application for LCTI. I know some of you have already completed it. If it's something you're interested in, you need to get it in soon. Um, but go on my Google Classroom. You can find out more about their information on their website, lcti.org, as well as in the program of studies, which is page 74 to 81. So what to expect moving forward? Once I make the form available and I post it in my Google Classroom, you will complete it, it gets submitted to me. Um, once I finalize it, um, clarify anything with teachers, then we will move forward and schedule it into our software program, Sapphire, and it will be mailed out to you over the summer. So what else do you need to know? You have a ton of opportunities in high school. You can do activities, clubs, sports, there's so much you can do there. Hopefully next year we'll be back to a regular routine and there'll be a lot more um, activities and clubs that you can be involved in instead of doing some of them virtual. Um, I know we've been trying to run sports the best we can. Hopefully all the sports will be back in session and running, you know, like normal and scheduled like normal. But definitely make your high school years the best years you can. Be involved, get involved in your school. And if you have any questions, please reach out and talk to me. Talk to me, talk to your teachers. You can talk to a building administrator, but please ask your questions because this is something you all have to do 
you have to do the Google form, you got to pick your courses. And I wish you the best of luck. Stay safe, stay well, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Bye.